What's up guys, Max Maxworks here, and today we are doing another cheap welding video. Uh, what we're gonna be building today is basically like coffee table or something, you know, a little table that goes uh, for an outside area out of this. This is a lid to a 55 gallon drum. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean this up, we're gonna weld on some legs, I'm gonna show you guys how to do all of that in this video. So, to get started, you can see I did a little bit of marking on here. Basically, I found dead center by finding the maximum radius of this, which was, I believe, 23 and a half inches. Then I used an angle finder to give me a 120 degree split, giving me the peace sign. And then five and three quarter out, which is about halfway, and that's where we're gonna put our legs. Now, the reason you wanna use three legs instead of four is that three legs will always balance itself. So even if the legs are a little bit off, it's, the table's gonna still sit pretty flat and uh, be really stable. If you have four legs and one of the legs is a little bit off, it's always going to teeter-totter, weevil-wobble, and that sucks. It's like testament to, to crappy built stuff is that it weevil-wobbles. So the best way to avoid that is just use three legs, especially for something small like this, like a coffee table, it's going to be fine. So <clears throat> first step is we got to get this cleaned up, and then we can start out measuring kind of the length uh, and angle that we want for our legs. So I got a bunch of this for cheap uh, from the metal yard. It's a half inch diameter pipe. Um, it's fairly thick wall, I don't know what it is, but it's, it, you don't want to get smacked with this. Um, what we're going to do is I cut this at a 10 degree angle on the chop saw and we're going to lean it so it points a little bit outwards, basically away from the center line. Um, and we're just going to weld this straight to the top and then we're going to weld in uh, the inside on the bottom so and then grind it down so it, it's all sealed so that I don't like leaving open ends on stuff, it looks very unfinished. Um, the only thing that I found that's a, a little bit uh, of a worry is that this appears to either be zinc coated or aluminized underneath the paint, which means you especially don't want to breathe this in. So I'm going to make sure I put on a respirator before I grind. And um, there's lots of people out there that say, oh, you should always use a respirator when you grind. But most people in real life don't have time for that kind of stuff. But when you notice that something is aluminized or zinc coated, you really, really need to wear uh, a respirator um, to help protect yourself, especially if you're going to be doing a number of these projects like I am. and reasonably stable it's kind of a little flimsy and so what we're going to do now is we're going to basically brace in uh, these three uh, rods with just more pieces of rod uh, and give this table a little bit of structure but uh, basically what I did was when I got everything welded up I went back through and ground down the edges to give them a slight slant in to balance the angle of the rods and when I did that, <clears throat> I just kind of worked them one at a time, turned the table over, felt it, a little wobble, a little shake, you know, ground down another one just a little bit until I got everything nice and solid. So now we're just going to measure these distances, figure out how far up we want to be, uh, and just cut up and weld in some cross pieces. So there we go. Our table is nice and sturdy. Um, last thing left to do, I've already wiped it down last town, last thing left to do is paint it. So I'm going to get uh, my HVLP gun out and get everything set up and we're going to paint this thing and we're going to paint it uh, red, I think. Okay guys, so that's it for our little table build. Basically, uh, you got two coats of paint and it's got a nice hard surface and it's uh, nice and balanced. Um, it does see a little fingerprint action on it, but I think that that's okay. It'll kind of uh, wear in together over time. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you like this channel, please subscribe. Check out the rest of the Cheap Welding Project's uh, playlist. Um, and we will be adding videos just as quickly as I can get stuff done. And so this was the first part. We're now going to build um, a set of chairs and a sofa and put all this in the backyard and make like a beautiful like backyard furniture thing. So it'll be great. Stay tuned.